Hello guys, right, today I'm coming on to share another um, digital kit, that, well, digital paper backgrounds that I've done. They're up and loaded in my Etsy shop and this is for 10 pages, 10 pieces of paper that are background papers that are A4 size that can be used in many projects, collage work, journaling, um, whatever you want really, handmade cards, ATC cards, everything's possible. Now I'm gonna show you them, and then I've got some news after. Right, so first up, let's get them in shot. That's the first one. So we've got butterflies in this one, on this one here. These are very um, textured backgrounds on them. There's lace in this one and it's also built up this um, old paper, like newspaper in some of them. Some of them are different on the backgrounds. I've done... Um, paper whether it be torn paper newspaper fabric on the background so you'll see as i'm going through them so that's that one then there's this one now this is built up with fabric snippets so we've got like a wall there this is it called ginnum i think orange fabric there's some plain dotted blue. This one here, a piece of that. Um, there's a piece of lace here. Um, yeah, it's all in there. All this uh, scripty scroll is all um, material and this one as well. But I think they're really nice. There's two pieces up here as well. If you can see them and we've got this one which is very vintage vintagey and that's got beetles on it there's one there and one there but that's got a lot of let me see if I can get it in there a lot of texture on the background to bring it up see if I can get it right in there we go next one we've got here um, there's sequins there's also bees and a couple of ladybirds in there old paper at the background plus texture like a texture paste, um, gold paint splashed in there, leaves. So yeah, um, what would be the best to show you? There's an old paper going on to the texture. Yeah, so that's that one. And then we've got this one here which has got burlap in it, old paper, postal marks, wax seals, um, and pearls. And there's a dried rose bud there. And it's got these patterns in with some tape, washi tape. And that's a, yeah, I think that's, I think that's really nice. next one is this one again the dried flowers throughout and um, this has got those gems like them sticky stick on gems on it this has got a fabric background on there which is very abstract funky type of um, mark making that type of uh, collage I've built up 
for the background. I love this. I really do because if you go to use, say, just a piece of this part, you've still got a plenty on one sheet to go through. There's tons of patterned area. So you haven't got to think, oh, there's one particular flower I can only use on that sheet and then the rest I've got to throw in the bin. Everything's in there, if you know what I mean. So you can use it over and over again in all these. And the good thing about digital papers, rather than these mass-produced papers you get at art stores and that, that you can pay up to £10 per pad for 24 sheets or whatever, is these can be printed out time and time again. There's no run-out supply unless you run out of ink or paper, you know? And they cost a fraction of what that is anyway. So this one again, I do like this one because it's got a large piece of lace right at the back here. And then we've got the fabric again and the mark making. And then we've got little rows, um, what are they called? They're like stick on, sticky back little roses. You'll see when I hold it up. You see these little things. And then we've got the lace all at the back. You can just make out the pattern on it. But it is really nice. These are all designed by me, guys. You can't find these anywhere else. And this one. This is a, a mixture of papers. Um, newspaper and vintage clock on the background there's pearls iridescent pearls on there oh no they're iridescent stick on gems sorry and uh lots of this old tape on the back of there like old paper tape up here going across um and then we've got smart making going in there as well i do like this one but I think I'm coming up to my favourite soon. Should be, yes, yeah. I think I saved it for last, yeah. I always seem to save, save my, my one for last. Right, so we've got this one here. This has got some pa newspaper butterflies on in different colours. This one was a mixture of musical paper and... What is on that one? Oh, it is actually an old advertising sheet, um, like a leaflet. And it had something like fairy soap on it or something. But it's there and just under here, more so you can see it. And then I've added um, little patterns here and there to spruce it up a little bit. And it's also got orange sequins on there as well. So let me show you it up. A bit closer you see all the orange sequins and the butterflies that got like a newspaper print I just thought it was really nice it's lots of green leaf in there and the dried flowers that's a dried poppy there I think both of them are really nice this is my favorite because of the color you see because I like very colorful things and bright this one um, has got fabric behind it and uh, a bit of mark making in there and some sticky, what do you call them, sticky hearts. So I'll show you it. There we go, look, you can see. And the colours are so rich. And this is on... Um, what do you call this conference paper? 260 GSM, I think it is. Or it could be 248. It's one of them two. On um, plain, plain printed paper. So it's not full effect um, printed out. But it's it's just perfect as it is, you know. Um, I didn't go like 
photo um, paper with uh, photo print quality because it would have used up all my ink. But I just went with A4 plain paper and just just rolled it off like that. And you can see that the print has come out really, really well. So, yeah, we've got all those and more. And um, now I can share the news with you. So if you want to buy these, guys, go over to my Estee shop and grab yourself some. They're just over £3. And uh, you get the 10 sheets and you can use them over and over again in your project. project. They'd be beautiful in a journal, wouldn't they? Absolutely beautiful for the inside of a journal. And you can print them double-sided. Right, so, um, what was I going to say? Right, these. Yeah, so um, I'm thinking in the next week, maybe, yeah, maybe next week, of doing a prompt on my channel, my YouTube channel, and uh, you can win either the collage set that with the bean that I showed the other day or this set here as a prize. I will pick one winner for whoever enters in a jar and we will do um, a giveaway and you can pick out and I'll send you the papers. And I thought that's a nice gesture Then I haven't got postage and everything else and it's just quick and simple and easy. Um, I will find something, because I'm still in pr production with it, I will find something to prompt, how to do the prompt, sell it all up. I hope you can join me. There'll be an hashtag. There'll be a callback on it probably, like a shout out. If you want to do a VR, more than welcome. Um, if you haven't got a YouTube channel or that and you've just got like Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or that, then you can still give me a shout out on one of those platforms as well. I'm trying to grow at the moment. I need all the help I can do. So it would be a great experience. And plus, you know, it's nice to have a little giveaway here and there as well and see what you made. You don't need to send me your cross, but there'll be a hashtag where you can put them on social media so I can uh, see from the hashtag um, what you've made and then enter you into the prize draw. And then we'll do the prize draw when the um, competition ends within a few days of that close and all that. And, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you all win, but you're not going to all win at once, but be nice to see who wins and whoever joins in. So, yeah, keep um, watching this channel and um, see what happens. And I will catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.